<laughs> All right. I thought it hit the button. Anyway, yep, here I am. I uh, don't know where I'm going to post this video because I don't think it's going to be much of a video. I'm not in very much of a good mood. <laughs> uh, I feel creepy and comfortable and this wasn't a good day. Bad human relations day. So anyway, ow, my foot hurts. God damn it. Uh, anyway, so I was thinking mood, just because I'm in a mood. And uh, thinking about just the fact that we do have this undercurrent, you know, that our brain is sitting on, this, this ape, this human being who, um, you know, has needs and uh, petty desires and petty wants and petty everything, which, you know, that's probably not the best way to put it, but most of it is kind of petty and stupid. The ego thing. Uh, you know, the, I don't know, the elephant man, you know, I am not an animal kind of feeling, like I don't want to be treated like a piece of shit. Uh, well, what's the difference? <laughs> you know, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, relationships with people, you know, you sort of, you have this expectation of a certain kind of respect, and, uh, you know, everybody's definitions of those things are different, of course. Uh, and, uh, but yeah, that's, you know, and our brain's got to function on top of that mess and be able to figure out, you know, what the truth is uh, without being influenced by all that noise coming from your disposition. And that's a tricky one, you know, because when you're in the right mood, when you're horny for it, when you're hungry for it, you know, life can do all kinds of silly shit that ain't going to matter. But when you're down or you're hurting and, uh, you know, there's, there's, you know, you just don't have patience. You're just, you're vulnerable. You're too vulnerable. And uh, it becomes too clear that, uh, oh, the addiction, the addiction, it just becomes so obvious how unnecessary all the bullshit is. It's almost like your, your level of sensitivity rises and you just become so aware, so conscious of uh, not only your own uh, angst and discomfort, but your, your empathy just crushes you and uh, makes it impossible almost for you to rationalize a life. And uh, you just push through it, but it's... And uh, so which word is the moment of clarity? You know, when you're caught up in the lie of want or when you're caught up in the you know, dark side state of uh, suffering or pain. Uh, I guess I would argue that the more lucid state is the state that isn't corrupted by the desire. The clearer state is the, uh, you know, how do I see the world when I don't want it? <laughs> you know, um, as long as you're not want, it doesn't turn into some kind of um, petty resentment or hate for no good reason, uh, yeah, that, I guess that would be the clear state. So it's probably, you're probably seeing it right when you are despondent and uh, anything that lifts you out of that perception, that, that feeling is taking you further away from clear vision and it just starts rose coloring life again. And it's a dilemma for the human philosopher to step past his psychological, step past the psychological uh, atmosphere, lens, uh, state of mind. Let's see what else can a psychology be? Uh, but it does create a, a kind of foundation, a platform from which you're able to view the world. And, uh, yeah, uh, want, desire, really does pervert perception of value. There's just <laughs> no way of getting around that one. So anyway, yeah, it's a little video. Uh, angst, angst, uncomfort, uncomfort. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really am. Oh, 
in a not a good place psychologically. But we'll see what later we'll bring tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Till next time.